about Boris? Uh, do you think that he was right to um, withdraw from the competition? It's a bit like the government U-turns over their much maligned mini-budget, um, where the government didn't change their position because they thought suddenly that they were wrong. They changed their position because they realised they didn't have the support to get their policy through the House. And Boris Johnson, I think, you, may, you can look at his statement in ten different ways, but it's quite honest, actually, when he says now is not the time. Because he means he didn't he had, have the support. But do you reckon he had 100 and plus I do. No. I think he had enough backers, but I don't think... I think, you know, he, it was clear that he had a majority of members of Parliament against him. But consider this. We could have had a situation where, for the second time, Sunak won the vote amongst members of Parliament mm. and then lost among the members. Yeah. It would have been really bad to have that happen twice in a row. And so I do rather respect Boris Johnson, actually, for, for that, because... I, Whatever else people think of him, he's still really popular in my party. He would have won in the membership. Mm. Um, well, I, by the way, you say that. Sorry, Joe, just before I bring you back in, you say that he was really um, popular. I don't know if you remember this. I was just Thursday. about to say that. Oh, go on, then. You no, say you, it. no, you say it. Well, on Thursday, we had the pleasure uh, of being in front of the studio audience in Deal, as we were just saying, and I asked that audience, who wants Boris back? Put your hands up. And I was really surprised yeah. how few people... Oh, really? Really, really I mean, really we were surprised. all absolutely astonished. What would you say about two people, maybe, maybe, three, maybe three people? But, I mean, you know, it was the fingers of one hand. And mm. I expected it to go whoosh. Yeah, so did I. No, I mean, it was really surprising, actually. Let me read out this little, um, a little quirk a for you all. No, it's not a jerk. I'll keep the jerks for my break time, because um, I'm not very good at water, pre-watershed jerks. Um, listen, listen to this. When a regime has been in power too long, when it's fatally exhausted the patience of the people, and when oblivion finally beckons, I'm afraid that across the world you can rely on the leaders of that regime to act solely in the interests of self-preservation and not in the interests of the electorate. Mm. Do you know who said that? I don't. Do you know who said that? No. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, was said by Boris Johnson in 2011. Oh, in the Telegraph. Yes. Mm. Well, yeah. I have yes. to say, I mean, I you know, will never know, um, but I don't think he got anywhere near the numbers. I think, you know, I, I have to ask, what do his constituents, maybe there's somebody watching from his constituency, you know, Parliament's sitting, he's been on holiday for two weeks, so he hasn't been bothering to even do his day job as an MP. Um, I Can I just say why I, 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 I completely understand why you have that, that niggling doubt about the veracity of it? I, I, and and I maybe might because of Boris Johnson? Well, but, so here's my thing. Nigel Adams, one of his biggest supporters, um, gave a statement today saying that he had checked with Bob Blackman, who's one of the co-secretaries of the 1922 committee, to verify that Boris had the numbers on their, um, on their paperwork and it was agreed. Now, actually, it, it, that's so, so high risk because if that's not true, that's the end of two careers. I just don't, I just don't believe they, they lie about it. It's not, um, well, and that's not Boris now. That's that's two pe two other people.